Welcome to Abby's first ever playthrough of Outer Wilds. I know nothing about the game. And, uh, yeah, that's about to change. Let's go! Boom, 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 boom. Oh! Wake up with the other button. I've been playing Nintendo games. Cozy fire fireplace crackle fire campfire crackle. If you lay here, can we just lay here? Would you lie with me and just forget the world? Okay, fine. Oh. I can roast a marshmallow! Move stick. It seems... Oh. There we go. Ah! Fuck. Put away? But I didn't eat it. Okay. Let's try again. It's smoking. Would you lie with me and just forget the world? Somehow this feels like an accurate representation. Wait, I can't tell the, the color of the marshmallow. It's looking pretty brown or like dark, isn't it? It should be looking like golden. But is it looking black to you? It's kind of burnt. Yeah, it looked totally burned. But it never reached that golden brown. This is... Oh, was that the same one I lit on fire? Okay, let's try it again. It looks very white now. da 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 da, -da. Zero out of ten worst marshmallow toasting simulator this year. Now it's starting to get... Oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm good at this. I think I'm, I'm turning out to be very good at this game so far. Now, okay, so let's talk to our, to our friend. <laughs> Sorry for Slate, I don't know who you are. I was just dealing with marshmallows. There's our pilot! Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? It seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You're sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here, once you've said your goodbyes, or whatever. Hi, Valley! This is a lot of field of view. Yeah, let's lower it. I just know that people like field of view, and I don't have much of an opinion. Is this, is this too much? Chat, how do you feel? And glower. Bum ba dum ba. I've seen it, Valley. I've seen it. It looks really great. I want to play it. Oh, I can jump. Oh, I can. Okay. Ah! Well, never mind. Hopefully that's right. <laughs> G is busy for the first bit of stream today. And he's normally the one that keeps me, um, keeps me in line. So, you know, chat. Either you have to pressure the other mods. You have to do it. I'm not going to do it. 
to, to do it, or you have to pressure me. Bizgy. He's Bizgy. <gasps> I can fly a model ship! Oh! Um... <laughs> <laughs> Horizontal thrust, up down thrust. Oh, this is like flying a drone all over again. Holy fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I'm very good at crashing model sh model ships. Quadcopter quadcopter drone, but with rockets sounds badass. I got one one of those. The only drone I've ever flown is my miniature one. Oh hi! Wow, that was just like the last time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. <laughs> you'll you'll be okay flying the big one, right? Yes. Sure. Sure, I'll be fine. I'm sure nothing's gonna go wrong. <laughs> I think we have lots of evidence to support that everything will be fine, right? It's soup! Porphy. Hey, oh hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gotten open up a bottle of the good stuff. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge! Okay, let's do that. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Our hunter gather- our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error. By which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Yep. Yeah, that sounds about right. Can't go in there. No, no, no. Talk to Rutile. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Mika's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Welcome back, Yumi. You saw the crash? I think I did great. This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. Well, hey, at least the chair survived. Use satellite camera. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Look at the butthole! Oh my god, that's not good. Didn't we just, didn't I take a snapshot of the village? I feel like I'm very good at this game so far. And by that, I mean that I feel like I'm not, I don't know what's going on at all. <laughs> But there's the village. There. I'm assuming I did it. Yay, go me. I don't know. Ba -da 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 -da. Abby has skill issues. So much. So much. You've been listening to Bramble's OC for the past couple of days, Valley. Da, 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 da. 
It seems super, super lovely. I know a few streamers that were playing it recently. Oh, it's launch day, huh? I was gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. The platform those ships launched from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? The big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. The launch pad is flammable? Ha! You didn't realize that? Don't worry. It's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Sounds safe. I think everything is gonna go great. Talk to nice, nice. Hello there, space cadets. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's church drums, Ryback's banjo. She meant actual instruments. And Gabro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. The Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space? That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. I get the sense that this is the kind of game where I'm gonna like, I'm gonna miss like all of the content in it, you know? Ever, ever start a game and just feel like that? Where it's like, oh, okay, well, I don't understand any of this and I don't know how any of this works. Sip. <laughs> Cryptically sips in my general direction. Fine, let's go to the observatory. Game will teach you, yes. I'm counting on it. It's a child! What an adorable. Hello, astronaut! If it isn't my favorite... No, this is what's with the radio. What's with the radio? We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure, let's play. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. This be on every game. Yep. I feel like with certain certain types of genres, I'm I'm just in my element. You know what I mean? I'm like, I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I think I found them both. And I think the pronouns for this alien race are always they. Is my is what I'm guessing. Uh, uh, ow, there's <laughs> oh, you found me! My hiding spot was super good! Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? I forgot the jump button. <laughs> no, I didn't forget the jump button. I just forgot that you'd, like, do a little crouch before you jump. And you don't jump until you release the button. Unknown. Why didn't it change to Tefra when it says when I've been there? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Tisk. Ah. Oh. Noises. What went in extinct? Wah, 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 wah. Found her! Or them, sorry. I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Galena is a sweetie, and I want to protect them with my life. You know what I mean?
No fall damage. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Observatory! We have managed to play one mini game, chat. Wait, wasn't this where... Weren't there two... Was it... Oh, that was Galena, wasn't it? Okay. I never talked to them before we did the game. All right. Hello. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet's giant steep. That's where I had to go. Why's that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Gabro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabri. Gabro wants to see what lay beneath the surface. Why can I not read today? So they decided to, to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. But suddenly, Gabro couldn't go any further. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As, th as though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! I mean, that's what Gabro said. Anyway, whatever it was, it freaked Gabro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know? Make sure you bring some back with you. Hey. I will do my best. Observatory and zero G cave. Uh, you thought co cowboys went extinct. No, no. No, they're fine. Cowboys will always live among us. Watching. Waiting. A cave for me and G! A zero G cave! <laughs> Aww. I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out so you can use the scout launcher. But just please don't break it while I'm gone. Are you tech tight? No. Oh my god. Hi, astronaut! You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gawson said it was used to be it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a su super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome. You know, ghost matter is how Tech Tech lost, lost their foot, right? Whoa, really? That is so cool! <laughs> I think the warning has been uh, taken, chat. I think uh, I think the kid will be fine. Don't you? Sounds like they took it very seriously. Tech Tech? No, Moraine. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Uh, what are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night, I heard Rybeck's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. Depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Ah! Oh, I found it. Okay, <laughs> I'm blind. Hi, chat. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Blah, get fucked. <laughs> I dig it! I think they're gonna... Uh, crash. Oh no. It's just orbiting, isn't it? 
It's not going into the sun. Oh no, the sunset. Heck. Abby hates chat. Mm hmm. Hi, Brandling, by the way. Hope you're well today. That's so cute that you can hear their, their different, their different, um, instruments. What the heck? It's like everyone can, can have, has to have different instruments because otherwise we get confused. You can't play, no one can play the same instrument as someone else. Because that's the only way we have to identify you when you're in space. So... No instrument playing that isn't your instrument. You're assigned an instrument at birth. That's all you can play. And if you play another instrument, it's punishable by... Stuff. Sometimes localized English titles for foreign media can be very different from the original. Yes. Official English title descended from Divinity. Korean title. The heavenly demon can't live a normal life. <laughs> Official English title, Doombreaker. Korean title, Reincarnation of the Suicidal Battle God. <laughs> That's funny. Is this a platformer? Ah! <laughs> no, no one warned me about that. I don't, I don't know how I was supposed to know that that was uh, dangerous. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you. I'm uh, a little nervous, yeah. Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I never was I was never as green as you. That's not what Slate says. Oh, you know better than to believe a word that lunatic says about me. They're still sore I made them install a safety harness in the cockpit. Claimed it would throw off the thrust to weight ratio. <laughs> Honestly, one of these days I'm going to throw off Slate's thrust to weight ratio. That's a great threat. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the zero G cave in, in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, head down the lift and into the cave or don't. So long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Cool. Get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. Is mayonnaise a platformer? Probably. If it looks like one and it smells like one and it tastes like one and it feels like one when you shove it up your butt, then yeah, probably as a platformer. Oh, flashlight. Okay, great. That's helpful. <laughs> I was like, I'm not sure if this is helping. At least we can just listen to some random music when we feel it when we feel like it na, 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 na. Ooh, well. <laughs> mayonnaise takes a f good few dishes to new heights so yeah but don't shove it up your butt suit up oh yeah, this is definitely gonna go nothing but badly, chat. I guarantee it. Oh, hi, friendo! There's a friendo. Na, 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 na. Chat, I'm gonna take forever to play this game. Woo! Ah. <laughs> It's tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Uh, I'm getting some zero, zero G time in. So, you're going in there in the cave? Huh. What? No, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you 
you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Fuh! I've got the hand sweats. Sorry, tough. The irony of, of their name, though. Oh! Oh! Oh, I just walked off the ledge and it activated my thrusters. Just like last night. Can I take a pickaxe? Nope. It does prevent fall damage. Well, I guess it's because of zero G. Okay, I get it. <laughs> there are many places I'd prefer mayonnaise not to go. Up, up the butt is definitely on that list. Yeah, good. I'm just checking, you know, just in case. Ow. Rude. Whoa, what is this shit? Oh, it's zero G. Okay. Okay, is there anywhere I want to go that isn't straight down? Ooh, it's land random lanterns. I'm so good at this. Also, holy shit, that was a very good repair. Uh. Uh. Oh god, this is almost making me nauseous. Wait, is this where I came from? Yep, that's where I came from. Oh. Na, 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 na. I'm so good at this. Yeah, these are very satisfying. Na, 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 na. Is it in there? Ooh. Controls are pretty intuitive. Not bad, in my opinion. Man, I'm so good at this training simulator. What's that? Oh, it's another lantern. Okay. Um. <laughs> where home? Oh, found it. Our buttholes do have taste buds, don't they? What's that? Hello? Taste butts, a hey. God, my nose is itchy. You don't think they do? I've heard something about that. That, like, there's some, uh, organ that is similar to taste buds on the butt. In the butt. Do, 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 do. Which I guess is why we feel spiciness. I hope not. I don't want to taste down there. Me neither. I don't know. It might, I might be totally wrong. Don't take your information from me. How can we know? I mean, I'm guessing it would be like a matter of identifying the cells, right? Did you hear it from a friend? <laughs> yeah, yes, friend told me. Told me to taste things with my butt and obviously I did. Ice cream was my favorite. I mean, what? <laughs> I'm so sorry, chat, that I have to, that I expose you to this madness. But you did choose to be here. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Don't expect me to remember any, any, any 
voices, by the way. I can see you're itching to get off this rock. So go get launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now I've put so much time into training you. Got it? Unfollows. <laughs> wise decision. Very wise. Oh, there's a place up here. Na, 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 na. Such cozy music in this game. East know my ruins. That's I feel like there's more written on that, to be honest. Quantum Grove Center to the south. Geyser Mountains. I wouldn't call those mountains, but I am Norwegian. Young Bark Crater. Na, 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 na. That looks like the observatory, all right. Schneiss scream, shies scream, <laughs> zero. La, 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 la. So cozy. I really like the music. It's making me happy. Oh, I can't, I can't schloop the floop. But why? I wanted to crank the, the handle. Just like last night. <laughs> Outer Wilds Ventures founding members! Clockwise from top left, Hornfels, Grossen, Slate, and Feldspar. Look at them! We're gonna find Feldspar, aren't we? Somewhere out there. You gotta wiggle the wang jangler first, obviously. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without of, without whom we wouldn't have never gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Etherington. These are like, these are like backers or something. Probably. Outer Wilds Ventures! Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Blinks five and a half times. Felspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Atoll Rock. The Atoll Rock. Is that some kind of goat creature? This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that had been carved has been carved as part of the antlers. And they have three eyes! Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. They're goat creatures. Talk to Hal. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it. Ah. Oh, geez. Do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going to space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Oh, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this game since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. Aww, I'm glad you're so relaxed, Yumi. So what's the dirt? You here to see the know my statue? Uh, new statue? You haven't heard? Gabbro brought it back with him from Giant's Deep, and Hornville's just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. 
Ah, oh, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Okay. Fur is great. Fur is great. It's also weird. Na, 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 na. Future site of our next exhibit. If you've enjoyed your time with Outer Wilds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Our quest to explore the furthest reaches of the solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. Well, you're welcome. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon! As it orbits our planet, the Alarok's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now! It's because we're teeny weeny! Well, I mean, the planet is teeny weeny. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Dash uh, talking, saying feeling spicy is super interesting. It's caused by molecules docking to a receptor that's normally used for sensing heat and pain, which is why it feels warm and well painful. And those receptors are not limited to the mouth; they're all over, which is why you can definitely feel stuff like chili oil on your skin. Yes, yeah, like yeah, because yeah, it's it's a pain exactly. Spiciness is a pain thingy. Yes, I have heard that. Na, na, na. There could very well be taste receptors, but there, but aren't there, but aren't wired to the taste recognition part of our brains. I think that's something like that I've heard. Has that spoiled you yet? Yes, it's totally ruined. No, it's everything's been fine. No one has been rude. A star core, star's core contracts. It gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. They'd never spoil anything. No. When has Twitch chat ever spoiled anything? If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into an even into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Church's observation, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. You started talking about putting mayonnaise up one spot. I did. I stand by my choice. <laughs> Crystal taken from the Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. Seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Ooh. Ooh! Ooh! Cool. Hey, it's an anglerfish! Modified with tentacles. Now with tentacles! How many tentacles does it have? 16? No, 12. Hey, Manus! Everyone keeps saying it's the best game. People said this, that it's better than Zelda. It's outrageous. Can we ban Lodash? Not sure who Snape or Dumbleton are, but they seem to be trying to spoil something. <laughs> uh, they're trying to spoil turf turf wares, though, so it's fine. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Outer Wilds is better than Zelda. That's what people people are saying. It's outrageous. What the fuck? This crystal was taken from a know my ruin on brittle hollow i literally just read that okay so i guess it's just the same on both sides chat i'm sorry but i need to run to the bathroom don't mean to take like a break super early in the stream but maybe if you need to go to the bathroom you have time to get snacks get popcorn before the interesting part of the game starts and i'll be back soon brb Okay, let's read more displays. That's cute. I don't like being bothered when I'm off so it goes on silent mode. Yeah. Well, I hope that they're not going to be butts about about it. <laughs> that Because that's totally valid, not having it bothering you on this freaking Sunday. 
The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, ranchers, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Do, 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 do. Warp retrieval capability. I literally just read this. Hello? Some kind of worm? What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. Okay. <laughs> we can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. Only three eyes! The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomaian ancestors. It's not clear what the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar systems. Well, we're definitely going to do... We're going to find shit out, chat. Chat, we're going to find some shit out. They didn't say anything that you told me off last week because I, quote, always add something up. Add something up? What does that mean? From now on, I'm doing the bare minimum. What does add something up mean? Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other objects subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xenoarchaeological expeditions. It is, is it a urinal? Ooh. Ooh. Untranslated. No, my writing. Cassava. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adle Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. Wait, how did they know that we would call it Adle Rock? <laughs> After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our research. Look, I did it translate. That's cool. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to ciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Ooh. Do, 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 do. It's because they die whenever they write, so the next person has to be a different person. You're welcome, I've explained it! I think we've uh, interacted with all the exhibits here. How did they know you'd go with calibrating? But normally names translate differently than other words, you know? Like Adel Rock translates to, I don't know what Adel would be, but ro like Rock of Adel, right? So it's coincidental if you call it the same thing, but it's probably what you mean, like that they've just translated Adel Rock to from whatever they call it. This is incredible. At first, I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contained at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. Ooh, we're the center of the universe! In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding! But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Dun dun dun! And the Big Bang Theory is born! Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. 
dun 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 I love that it shows the orbit in action. Ember twin and Ash twin. So they're like in a mutual orbit? Is that a thing? Is that a thing in real in real life? Can uh, can or can planets send up like this orbiting each other and also orbiting a sun? Can be real? Really? Physics is cool. Na, na, na. Oh, that's like a shipwreckage going around this planet. Oh, that's so cool. What the heck? You never have stars orbiting each other. You can have binary star systems. Oh, is that what a binary star system is when it's two stars are orbiting each other? Huh, didn't know that. I think I, I mean, I understood that binary star systems had two stars, obviously, but I didn't realize that the stars would be orbiting each other like that. <laughs> With that, it's it's stuff. What is this? It's it's more stuff. Star system to subscribe to the star system binary. <laughs> the fucking patriarchy. Am I right? Da 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 da. da. Okay, I think we've checked out the things on this level. There you are! I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We are better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Um, I'm gonna wing it! Planning to follow in the footsteps of Felsbar and the Great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock! Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before sleep. Oh, there are only four eyes. You're right. Sorry, I thought there were six. My brain exaggerated the number of eyes. Before sleep makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Uh, where are the other travelers? Church is on Hourless Twins, Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow, and Gabro is on Giant's Deep. And there's Felspar, obviously, but of course, we don't know where they are, or if they're even still alive. Felspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Tell me more about Felspar! Felspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach Gothen, Slate the Engineer, and me. As a ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Felspar as closely as Slate and Gothen did. I can tell you, Felspar was absolutely fearless, though nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Felspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened, or where Felspar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Okay. I've got the launch codes. They're dash dash... dash dash... stuff. You know? Na, 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 na. Ooh! Wait, there are more exhibits! 
The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever's actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Aw, Zero brought me a lighter shirt. Thank you, Zero. And some tea. I'm going to just change real quick. BRB. Uh, y'all, I just noticed that the game is, like, super cut off. And I'm pretty sure that is my bad. <laughs> na, 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 na. Let's see. Maybe? Yeah, it was cut off because of Zelda. I fixed it. See, now the launch codes aren't cut off. See, Zelda's the worst. Yeah, you're right. You're right, I was wrong this whole time. Zelda sucks. I... I don't see anything very weird with this. Oh! 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 Okay. Yep, I'm seeing it now. <laughs> Yep. It keeps, like, moving. As soon as two of the stumps are out of view, it moves to the other one. Okay. Were there any other exits here that I didn't see? Nope. Alright, let's go. Oh, fuck. What? What? I think it's downloading my memories. Ending with the barrels. <laughs> Okay, well, that was weird. Why would you do that? Also, who put it? Oh, it's just sitting on a stump. It's not on a device. It just uh, turned. Using its little insect feet that it has on the bottom of the statue. Cap, don't try to bypass any blocked terms and stuff in case it gives me a hint of what was blocked because that's a secret. Because it's spo game spoilers. Oh, hi. So did you get a good look at that No My statue? Uh, the statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened, and you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. Like, you mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? Oh, that statue's definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornpulse tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open. Yeah, because when you find a statue, the first thing you do is try to get its eyes to open. Uh-huh. And nothing like this ever happened to them! I don't think you're going to get any answers from the, from the museum statue, but Grabro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. I don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, if you can use our translator tool to find out more about this, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and say flying. Thank you. Wait, where's Gabro? Did they say where Gabro is? Chat, tell me. 
Yeah, Cap, I get that, but but if it's blocked, then it's best to just not try to say it because because now you'll reveal to me that something you were trying to say was blocked, you know, and then that'll potentially give me clues about the game and, you know, it's a whole thing. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Where's Gabbro? Are you Gabbro? No, you're Slate. Let's talk to Slate. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Okay. Oh, Giant's Deep, so I'd have to, like, go. Okay, gotcha. Da -da -da. I remember now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time to get good! I think I have now gotten good. We can go. Perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 nailed it. I'm so much more comfy in a t-shirt than I was in that heavy... I was wearing the Project Hope shirt that they sent me after my fundraiser for them. And it's like a really heavy cotton and it's a really nice shirt, but it's just a bit too warm for today. You know the feeling when you're wet dressed too warmly and you get to change into something really light and comfy and appropriate. And it's just like, ah, comfy. Na, 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 na. I feel like it's the time of year when when it suddenly turns into spring. This is the time that I am like worst at dressing because I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to be cold. So I'll dress too too warmly and then I'll be too warm. OK, let's view the ship log. View entries. Village, the one and only Harthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. Then my statue opened its eyes and looked at me. It's never opened its eyes before. Yeah. Cave at the very center. Successfully repaired another quote unquote satellite for Gossen. Rumor mode. Ooh. Hal says Gabra went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. Lunar Ruins! The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Adelrock. Okay. Are you ready? It's so right, Yumi. So nice. Na -na. I'm wearing a crazy cat lady shirt, chat. It's great. I bought it in uh, Edinburgh after going to the cat cafe there. <laughs> Should have called it gossip mode. Oh. No, 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 no. Wait, I have one of those gravity crystals in here. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of smart to use it for that. All right. All right. Am I ready? I don't know. <laughs> Nope, I'm gonna crash. Let me drink some more water first, one sec. I'm scared. Oh God. Oh God. This was really like the, oh God. <laughs> I'm not stressed, you're stressed. Uh, 
Okay. So yeah, let's go to Giant's Deep. It's... is that... I'm pressing it. It is locked on, I guess. I'm not stressed either, I'm napping. I don't know why it's not locking on. Oh, is it because I have the... Ah! Retrieve Scout? Known bug after all tabbing. Oh, hey there, Nadava. What's up? Uh, I haven't all tabbed, but I do have a mod to make it um to be able to click off of the game without it pausing the music, which is always super annoying when streaming. <sighs> so maybe that's messing with it. Drag your. Uh, I'm pretty sure the mouse is on there. There we go. Eh! I'm not going closer, am I? Am I chasing its orbit? I am going closer. I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. Launch scout. What does that do? Engage autopilot. Full steam ahead, what can possibly go wrong? Autopilot complete? <laughs> The scout fucked off. Oh god! Oh god! how to land or something was this a good landing i feel like i haven't landed didn't break anything so i guess we try to leave should i suit up Oh my god! <laughs> this is mildly terrifying, I gotta say. What is happening? I'm so confused! Is this place dipping in and out of the water? First try, I did it. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Patch. Thanks for the hundred bits. Wait, where are my where are my alerts? Probably just delayed. This is so strange. Is this like a bubble of water? Nope. It's just, it's just the center. I guess the core of the planet is made up 
of like an ocean and uh, I just was dipping out of it because all the planets are way too tiny in this the freaking uh, universe <laughs> excuse me Uh, oh, that's really far away. Oh, we got some some framingness. Oop, oop. I wonder what I should reduce. Nee 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 nee. Oh, the texture quality did a, did a big ouch. It's probably the water, the rain that's making it lag like this, right? We're doing explore. Let's go. Ooh, the fuck? Wait, gravity is two times here. Is that only in this place? Is this where I should have landed? <laughs> I'm starting to feel like maybe I should have landed here. <laughs> well, I hope my ship is okay. <laughs> should we try to move it? Oh God! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, this is trippy. Oh gosh, definitely a bit of a bit of lag going on here. Ow! Oh, control module projection stone. Oh god. Whoa! What was the ship? What's the button? Is there a button for opening the ship's log? I guess I have to actually be in the ship. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, so I need to put... I just put this one in. So I guess I need to put one in each of the others, too. But there's one. Untranslated, know my writing. 13 minutes, 55 seconds ago. Long range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. I guess that's it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Planet underwent shrinkage because of all the cold water. <laughs> it was in the pool. Right, right, of course. Okay. So we're going to have to keep an eye out and try to find another one of those thingy majongers. Yeah, no, I would rather not be in the water. That shit's slow. Hi, Jimmy. Do you like how I'm, do you like my parking job? I think I did great. I think I did a great job. Is that where I was? Oh God! This planet is scary! Ah! I just went through the... I just... I just... Uh... 
Okay. Well, we're still orbiting around the planet, right? Oh, God! This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Look, I found another thing! I found another thing! Which one is it? Oh, that's the one that I needed for the, the place back there, where I just was. Over here. I'm just gonna fucking yeet. It's fine. What can go wrong? What can possibly go wrong? Better than a lot of yours. Good. Good. Yes, more translate. Kasuba, Konoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Orbital probe cannon components? Beneath the current. So we need to... But no, you should have seen it! We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core! Uh, Daz, Kazava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? I mean, I've passed through the current multiple times, unless that's not what they mean. Konoi, my gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory. And it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Oh, we need to go to the giants, to the Brittle Hollows Observatory. Uh, Castava says, Konoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? Konoi says, if you don't mind the trek beneath the surface of the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollows Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I think we got a heading, my friends. I think we've got ourselves a heading. But I also want to see Gabbro, which is supposedly here. Over there. Con perpetually playing his uh, tuba or whatever the fuck. <laughs> But 989 meters, this planet can't possibly be that big. It's tiny. It's like four meters long. I'm just kidding. Ooh! 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 Look, look, look at the thing! That's what she said. Oh, right. I didn't finish the... the I need to do the puzzle. So that is where other place was. Uh, uh, yeah, I hate being underwater. There's one platform and the other side is one platform. You know what? Let's go back here. Let's go back here. This looks like that item, that object that is floating around, right? Like, is this, is, is that the item we're on? I feel like there might be a, a different one that we need to go to. But we definitely put in this, this uh, one we definitely put in over here. Never mind. Oh! Oh! Cassava says I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. Avens says I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. Kasava says, tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. 
Casima says, I wish it were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Um... Avin says, an update. Mallow and I will join you in Das. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. So they're remaining at the construction yard. Okay. Let's try putting this one in uh, here then. Yeah, switch them around. See what happens. That happened last time I put something in. Can you tell that I totally understand what's going on? You did find the first few hours of this game super overwhelming. It's very much like, what the fuck is happening? Where am I? What am I doing? <gasps> what? Let's uh, maybe get some oxygen. <laughs> zoom, zoom. I was able to get the oxygen here. It was like oxygen detected. There we go. Oh, trees detected. Oh. See that I did not. Ooh. What? What? There's a, sc there's a scroll. This is a scroll. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Look at me figuring in things out. Casaba says, this is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Definitely read these a bit out of order, I feel. Our next step will be to send uh, Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. Casaba says, to all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many others attempts, other attempts have not. Das says, if I know my brother Avins and his spouse, we will, Avins and his spouse will want to launch the probe with us, with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. Das says, I propose we give Avins and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Um, gratitude for your tireless work, I had given up hope. And Daz says, are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they are atypical for you. Casper says, if I'm over ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avins behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. <laughs> Aww. They're cute. And also their writing is pretty. It looks like uh, drawings of clouds in Wind Waker. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. So I wonder if that scroll was here the whole time or if it's just <laughs> fun times fun times love when that happens oh bye planet oh what it's protection against the the thing it's so strange, FK. And I don't know. I mean, did most people who played this go here first? I'm curious. Let me know, chat. I mean, not like if you know of most, but if you did, did you go here first? Na, 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 na. I don't remember if I did. It's fine. It's fine. You did not go here first. I imagine other planets would be a little less overwhelming. <laughs> na, 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 na. I have no idea if there are even any statistics about that. No, I mean, probably not. I was not enjoying uh, being in like in my ship near this planet. Like I found that very overwhelming and I was very relieved when I managed to land here. So even though I saw like trees on one of the things that zoomed, oh God. 
Oh god, it's coming! Help! Uh, she thinks other planets are less overwhelming, chat. I've only experienced one, so I can only hope. Hi, alien! Oh! Did I fucking die? Did I just fucking die? Oops. I got randomly burnt to a Chris. Hi, alien. How are you? Looking forward to banning you for backseating. It's going to be great. <laughs> oh, is are we getting saved by the statue? Is it like saving our personality? Oh, come on. Oh, we start from the beginning. Did I just die? Wow, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars at the night before launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. I kind of want to just go. Shouldn't have died. I really shouldn't have died, to be honest. <laughs> La da 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 da. I just want to go and, like, see more weird shit, you know? So let's, let's do that. And lift off! That's the ash. Riddle Hollow. Oh, let's actually see the ship's log. If we have like the memories. Yeah. Yeah, we have all the infos that we found out. Uh, but we did not find Gabbro. Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. You rumored entry. Question is if I want to go back to Gabbro or if I want to go to like Brittle Hollow. Once there's two paths beneath Brittle Hollow's surface that lead to the observatory. One starts at the gravity cannon, the other starts at the Tower of Quantum. I feel like we let's go to a different island and we can go back to the really overwhelming one later. I mean, this one will probably be overwhelming too. <laughs> Mark location on HUD. This island is where the Nomai built the orbital probe cannon. For some reason, the Nomai put the orbital probe cannon on indefinite hiatus. Oh, that's where we just were. Okay. The cannon was not asked to fire. It's G! Hi, G! We'll take a bit longer with a break today because I took a, took a break like a bit ago for bathroom break. G, how was your stuff? According to my computer, a long-range probe was recently launched from the orbital probe cannon. Remove HUD marker. Yeah, let's go to Brittle Hollow. Oh, that is Brittle Hollow. Okay. Engage autopilot. Da -da -da -da. The military called me and showed me a picture of her yesterday. Imagine her 50 times larger. That seems excessive. <laughs> Wait, G Jimmy, you like this game? We shouldn't have. You should have told me. Undershot target. Well, then engage again, motherfucker. X landing mode. Oh, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Nailed it. 
Nailed it. I hope I don't die. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! The choking sound freaked me out so much! I was like, what is this sound in my in my stream? What is this sound? It's so creepy. But yeah, of course I was choking to death. Duh. Duh. I was about to say, I hope that not wearing the suit is going to be fine. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> Why would I explore a uh, space without a space suit? When I went to the water planet, I put one on. So I think I did a good job. I did it on my first run. I just didn't bother after that. Because why would I? I like how you choke and wake up your characters gasping for air. Yeah! I'm being... Uh, the Nomai are doing shit. So that's the Ash. Or that's the... the buddies. And that's the not buddies. Where's Brittle? There's Brittle. Autopilot! Let's go! You weren't choking, you were aggressively decompressing. Thanks for... turning that in... Uh, creating that image in my mind. Dash, that helped a lot. <laughs> la da 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 Okay. Oh! Nailed it! I'm such a pro. I'm such a professional. Na na na. Unidentified signal nearby! Eighty-four meters. That's so close. Oh, but I want that. Oh, it's a torch. Oh, never mind. I don't want it. <laughs> oh, it's there. Aha! Thatch says, Plume of Felix and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend the Wandering Moon sounds the same. Thatch says, the only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the Wandering Moon. I imagine this, the moon's behavior and this grove's are related. Is it a moon of this planet? Plume says in her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Plume, hypothesis. This quantum shard is from a wandering quantum moon. From the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Uh... Unique signal, signal coming from this shard. Our friend the Wandering Moon sounds the same. Felix says, I have also heard the same signal this shard produces. Calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Ooh. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Cool. We have another three headings, chat. <laughs> this game is really inciting my, like, let's explore everything um, move. You're almost a store up now. Wait, did someone... <laughs> Hi, Leo. Did someone... Uh... Redeem standing? Oh, you did. You did! How dare. Okay, I'm standing. That's the second time I'm standing today, G. I'm being bullied. Big stretch. 
That's what we call kindergarten run from aggressive decompression. I'm worried, uh, alien. I'm worried. Uh, put away. There we go. It got dark, friends. Ah! It got real dark. I need to drink water. Blah, 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 blah. I'll drink water. Thank you. I have tea, too. Surface integrity. Oh! Okay, I'm I'm just figuring shit out. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna be a bit picky about the Zelda spoilers, Leo. I'm sorry. This is the way. Bells, beneath your feet lies the tower of quantum knowledge. I don't know what you said, but Bells, if you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum mood, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Tower of quantum knowledge. I kind of, I kind of want the ship's log to be like here so I can read it whenever I want. Plume, the trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move. Is that even possible? Plume says, if anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant or my brain must be. Thatch said, Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, Thatch says, it isn't only the trees. There's other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. Dun, dun, dun. Felix says that rock is unusual for another reason, too. Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Felix says, hypothesis, the rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Cool. So I wonder how this works. I wonder if those moving of those scrolls around is going to have a significance. I'm sure it will. No, 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 no. Things should stop exploding. Um, so which one? Tower shard. What about that other tower? Oh no, it moved, didn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the same place! It's the same thing, isn't it? And it just keeps moving. Oh my god, okay, fine. Alright! Weird things happening. No. I guess let's go down here and see what happens. Have I missed much? No, I uh, have died. I went to one planet that had some crazy water stuff going on and I died. And then I went to this planet and got out without a spacesuit and I died. And that's about it. <laughs> Apart from like the beginning where I was talking to people on in my village. So basically, the Nomai are another uh, race of beings. Oh, gee. Are another race of beings that um, we don't know much about. But we've le recently made a translator so we can finally translate their writings. And now we can learn more about them, hopefully. Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge below 90 meters. There's gravity stuff going on. <gasps> oh!
It's an elevator, y'all. It's an elevator. Noted. Okay. But should I go down with that? Or what? Oh, no. Okay, it's fixing itself. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. I hope nothing bad happens. Hello? Ah, okay, good. I can go back up if I need to. Ooh, shiny! It looks like a piece of the, the walkway in um, that other planet that we were at. Untranslated, know my writings. The crossroads, east 190 meters. Okay. God, this place is gonna be an absolute maze, isn't it? Both of these planets have been a lot. Yeah. I feel like I've found the most overwhelming ones, right? And they're all gonna be less overwhelming from here, right? <laughs> bells, be welcomed in this place. But I don't trust bells. I think it might be like the kind of spiritual way of talking. Above you stands the tower of quantum knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Wait, ascend? But I came from there. <laughs> this looks like there's room for so much more writing. I wonder if that's what I need to bring the scrolls with me for. Like if I find writings that um, take up more space that I can put them in other places. Oh, seriously, G. Okay, but the crossroads sounds like it's just gonna make things more confusing. So let's maybe just go back up for now. Zoom, zoom. Vroom, zoom. Okay, let's try... The Southern Observatory. Ooh. That's one of the places where um, there's supposedly a, a path to the what's my place thing. There's a random uh, know me, know my, know my skeleton. This is where I came from. I'm not confused. You're confused. Okay. Oh, God. Stop exploding near me. Does that really lead anywhere, though? Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Maybe we should uh, go find some oxygen then. La 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 la. Is there a sprint? No. No. Right, I should also be using this sometimes, right? Okay, we'll go up and at least enter my spaceship again if I don't have other sources of oxygen, just in case. Did you try all the buttons? Oh, trees detected. Okay, good. Uh... I think I tried all the buttons? Even the space bar- Ah! You what, Alan? That's outrageous. Can we get a forbidden word added? 
Oh, it ended? Did I really say it after? I feel like I... <laughs> wow, okay. Literally two seconds after? That's amazing. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. This seems dangerous AF. That looks not safe. I think maybe I'm gonna not. <laughs> I think maybe, um, let's go to the crossroads. I don't know. I'm sure it's fine, but. I know that at least the first step of this trip is fine. Okay. Okay. Let's go. To here. To the crossroads. Is this east? inner calm personally I get you Ugh, can I please land no into the doorway nailed it first try Untranslated. Okay, Plume. The pain of your absence is sharp and haunting, and I would give anything not to know it. Anything but never knowing you at all, which would be worse. Oh, it's a love letter. I can only hope that you are safe, Keek, wherever you are. Oh, it's a torch. I'm worried about my fuel. A love letter in space. I'm, a, I'm allowed to say that now. Okay. So where to go? How to handle this situation? That's what we were looking at before, wasn't it? But there's a door there. Yeah, that one was 14 kilometers. Maybe this is the one I was at. Try 
Tree! Tree. Give oxygen. There we go. <laughs> that doesn't give me fuel, though. I now I, I now I need a tree that gives me fuel, please. <gasps> what the fuck? Was I just hit by a freaking planetary object? <laughs> balls that was rude and it got me all messed up I'm not a big fan of the thruster noise it's a bit annoying is this like the underside of where I was? Is that the love letter? I think it might be. No, it's new. Look out, look out below. Look out for the gravity hole. For you should you slip and lose your grip, then into space you'll go. Yeah, that has already happened. Kind of evil breathing, right? Yeah, the fuel is going to be a problem, chat. It is going to be a problem. I don't know if we're going to be able to find a way back. I don't know. Should I go there? 354 meters? I'm so, I'm so gonna die. Oh God. Using oxygen as propellant? Hey, Julia. So did this entire planet just get fucked up, dude? Oh, that was not allowed. I was not allowed to say that. Whoops. This is so bewildering. 
I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Rip in pieces. I mean, my ship is only 18.7 kilometers away. Wait, did I manage to get... Did I... Hey, Whoa. listen! Whoa. Is that a star? Is it coming toward us? Are we gonna die? I see a bright light. I see a bright light coming toward me. <laughs> okay. Well, that was an interesting journey. Also, thank you, G. I will sit down. Hi, Julia. It is my first day. There's a head special discord for this game for fans who have played where they can talk about the your playthrough without spoiling you. Oh, does do people When Colette played, she had a command to direct people to that server. Does someone want to like set that up or something? I don't know how that works, but if someone wants to create that and I want to and and I can um uh I can set up a command for it. I can get an invite link. I mean, there's no point unless there's like an actual chat about my playthrough, right? But if there, if someone makes a, a chat for it, then I will happily make a link. There will be. Okay. They log all playthroughs best they can. Okay. You're about to make it. Excellent. There's no point unless they're talking about me. I mean, that's true. <laughs> It's like, here, have a link to this uh, server full of people talking about other playthroughs that are not this playthrough. But let's make it... Let's make it a, a part of my channel for reasons. <laughs> people really care about the way people get through this game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a really good idea, Julia. Thank you for the suggestion. You can send one of the mods a link. Send uh, G a link, I guess. Or put it in the chat or whatever. And, and uh, one of the mods can make a command. For it. Pre-flight checklist. Jetpack auto boost. Jetpack boost can be triggered with a separate button or any time upward thrust is used. I don't understand this. Blow, 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 blow. Translator auto equip. Freeze time while translating text. Okay. It's just settings. Jetpack auto boost. Um, because I noticed that I would like press the right trigger in order to thrust while I was wearing my thing, but it wouldn't do anything. So my question is, what does it do to wear the suit? Is that like a matter of uh, when I'm in space, I guess? I guess I don't want to use my fuel for like a full thrust. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that this is fine. Buckle up, view map. We were at Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow was overwhelming as fuck. 
Let's read a bit in the ship's log and figure out what the dealio is. Yeah, Jimmy, we're going to link it. We're going to make a command to, to, to join it. You can make an invite link that leads to my specific part of the of the discord, by the way, would be really nice. Na 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 na. Oh, you, uh, if um, there should be an invite link thing next to the the thing. <laughs> Dooba -doo -ba -doo -doo. Thank you, G, and and both of you. I think they're like on the channel list if you have the permission to create an invite link in in that channel then there will be like an invite button next to the channel name kind of like you'll see in your own discord that in that channels will have like if you hover over them or something there will be a, like a little button where you can click an invite you got it awesome Alert! Alert! Hi, Matt! I'm doing thing! I told Matt you're playing Outer <laughs> Wilds. It's nice to have you. Okay, view rumored entry. This tower, located on Brittle Hollow's equator, held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Na 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 na. Quantum signal. Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Giant's Deep. Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Tibber Hearth. Coming from the Hourglass Twins. Bleep, bleep, blue. So I was trying to go to Brittle Hollow in order to find... To... to the Southern Observatory thing. There are two paths beneath. This was this was the reason I went to Brittle Hollow. There are two paths beneath Brittle Hollow surface that lead to the observatory. One starts at the gravity cannon. The other starts at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. But Brittle Hollow is not is not doing too great. <laughs> So, trying to figure out how to get to the observatory. And this was the re this was the thing. The Nomai at the Southern Observatory constructed a model of Giant Sleep that revealed how an object might sink. So that's the reason. It's because the Southern Obser Observatory is linked to um, the planet that Gabbro is on, which is a Giant's Deep. So that's why I wanted to go to the Southern Observatory. So I'm, I'm wondering if we should go back to Brittle Hollow and try, try, try again to not fucking die. Blue, 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 blue. Matt and Jimmy already up in, in your Outer Wilds Discord channel. So anyone who has actually played Outer Wilds might want to take your more intense discussions to that channel. Right, there is someone at Brittle Hollow. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, Julia. Posting in like a game Discord can definitely be a nice thing to get people that are interested in the game coming around. Ah! <laughs> that was a great run. <laughs> Did I get hit by a fucking sun or something? <gasps> my impressions are fascinated, Akuma. That's my impression. Fascinated and like 
it's difficult not to die. <laughs> and I would like to succeed at stuff. That would be great. Really hoping to succeed a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious and I want to like, I want to do a progress, you know? I want to find the progress -y way thing. There are no planets around. Oh, it's over there. Engage auto. Don't crash in. Um. I'm holding the trigger. What's happening? Autopilot aborted. Okay, good. You idiot. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god! This is going so well. This <laughs> is going swimmingly. You might say. Let's just get a little further away and then engage autopilot and not go immediately back to my planet. <laughs> autopilot may or may not be in it. Oh, 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 oh! That's to you. You killed me last time, you butt. You killed me last time. You killed me. I was hoping to like scan a little bit more to like find out where exactly. Oh, it's over there. Where exactly the signal is coming from, you know? No, no, no. No, no, no. Nailed it. Nailed it. First try. Suit! Let's put on a suit before we leave. Waxing, waning lava. The three genders of moon. Yep. That's not it. Okay, it is straight down, chat. <laughs> Interesting. I'm getting closer. No, simply start, simply go straight down. Step one, go straight down through the solid rock. Step two, profit. I mean, I'm getting slightly closer. Also, trees. Oh, look at that. <gasps> oh, right. That was the, yeah. Oh, look. I found straight down, chat. I found straight down. The way these uh, people seem to focus on... Um, playing music constantly when they're in, when they're in space it's pretty impressive that's some dedication to the art right come on let me pick up the gravity crystal thingy there's more of them i did buy the dlc yeah but i deactivated it because someone said that it can kind of mess with the first playthrough and it's best not to, I oh. to drink water. Oh, blah, 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 blah. all right follow the crystals don't not follow the crystals or you will fall to your death instead of following the crystals <laughs> um nailed it first try Symbol, symbol, symbols, symbols, symbols that mean things, surely. Gaty thingy, thingy, symbol thingy, uh, go to thingy, uh, tower thingy, go to uh, icy tower thingy, go to, um, 
Swooshy swooshy twirly tower thingy. Uh, uh, go to uh, gate on cloud. I think we have analyzed this text and found it very informative. Gravity cannon, east 40 meters. Okay, I feel like the things that uh, killed me last time were some kind of gravity cannon and I don't trust them. <laughs> and I don't trust them. Okay, so what does this do? I don't trust them. <laughs> I don't trust them and I don't like them. All right, where is our friend? Further down? Yeah. Just a bit further down. We should probably go to our friend. Gravity crystal workshop above 140 meters. I wonder if that's where we came from. About to sneeze. Sneezing completed. Oh, hi. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. Guess that's the part to focus on, or not how I'll eventually have to go back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good, since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down below so I can refill my tank. I mean, I did... I found a tree up above, didn't I? The Hanging City is north, 250 meters. Okay. All right, down we go. Ding dong. Oh. Friend? Friend! Friend! I found a friend! I found a friend! Hi, friend! Oh, you launched! That's great! Good job, you! Well, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been a dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell, tripped over a gravity crystal. It's been dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says it's halfway stable instead of being sucked into... What's below? I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> that would be... yeah. Uh, I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? Actually, never mind. <laughs> okay, if you do find something... Uh, lear find, learn. Find, learn something new. I think that's a bit of a mistake there, developers. Knew about the Nomai, though. I'd love to hear it, um, if you don't mind, I mean. Okay, where should I explore here? Oh, wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. I love this person, which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, that's, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Yeah, that's um, that's where I need to go. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learned anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble. I love him. Them, sorry. Uh, what are you doing out here? Me. I'm an archaeologist, remember? Oh, uh, or, um, the archaeologist, I guess, seeing as I'm all Timberhearth Scott right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with Nomai history, that's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about the Brittle Hollow Nomai, I'm your Harthian. Or, um, I have some knowledge of them, I mean, so maybe I can help? <laughs> 
So insecure. You should be confident. You deserve to be confident. Maybe I should doze off. Doze off. Yes. Turn off the... Take off your spacesuit. That sounds safe. I guess near being near trees means it's safe. Tower of quantum knowledge. Hey, I've been there. I hated it. Mostly because I died when I tried to, to, to go. Oh, that actually seems to lead all the way, though. I wonder if that's why. Maybe I needed to, like, land here so I could activate the other end of the gravity thing to actually make it all the way across. Yeah, the music is so lovely. That was one of the first things I reacted to, for sure. What's down there? Oh, that's the black hole. Do, 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 do. I wonder if I'm going to risk it. This is what now? So what does it mean beneath the surface? There's a path beneath the surface to the, the thing. We're doing it. Hope I don't die. Let's go to the right. Yay, I didn't die! Amazing. I'm sad to be out of the range of the plingy plongs. <laughs> Let's see. Is that the tower? This looks interesting. I want to go here. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, this is where we were. What about the... The swooshy thing? Oh, hello. The crossroads. Um... Wait, this is the place we were, right? I thought it was. No, maybe not. Be welcome to this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I thought we were. Obtained the last of the... We did be here. I guess it just marks itself as unwritten when you die or something. Or well, unread, I mean. Up we go. Da -da 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 -da. Big hole is a friend that just wants to hug you. I've fallen into it once already. That was enough, to be honest. That was an experience. We never went in here. We went from the... Is this beneath the surface? Because this up here is the surface, right? So I guess there is a way uh, here. Uh, there is a way. But how do we get in there is my question. I wonder if we should check out other places on the surface. Or if we should keep trying to fuck around with, um... We've read this. Or if we should treat, keep trying to fuck around with the gravity things. I cannot count the number of times Matt fell into that black hole. Well, they're very attractive, you see? Har har. Har 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 har. Okay, what are these? Tower of Quantum Knowledge is below. Southern Observatory is south 550, which means it's 
that way? Right? Like, that's south. If we look on the little planet symbol. But we went over here, and I don't remember if we actually tried one of these gravity things. I think we did, right? We did, and... No, we tried the one that was down below. That's the one we tried. We did not try these. But these also kind of... Oh! Not sure if I deserve to make it, but okie dokie. Ah! Ah! Smoky smoky smoky. Smoky, smoky, smoky. Black holes are the worst. And I don't understand. Because we just end up with everything broken. And shit's wonk. Yo. <laughs> we were here and we found like a love letter to someone and we found... Yeah, this game is really obvious and easy to figure out right away. It's funny because some Twitch streamers, some Twitch viewers would genuinely like, oh, let's go. I mean, it's just 3,500 meters. Fine, let's not go. Na 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 na. Flashlight. Ooh, what's that? 15 kilometers away. Am I gonna fall in there? No. Oh God, oh no. Oh, ow. It's so dark. Everything is so dark, chat. Ow. Do, 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 do. And there's half the fuel gone. We haven't found like anything this time. Last time we found, like, all of the little notes. Or a few little notes. Let's go there. It's where the gravity looking things are. La 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 la. Slam slam. Okay. So now we're just... Ship hull breach detected! Wait, where is our ship? Ship. Yeah, it's like really fucking far away. Our ship is in a better place now. But what about us? We're in a weirder place. And I don't like it. Na 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 na. 
Like, I'm probably just dead, right? But I can't tell if I should, like, give up by, like, flying into a uh, sun or something. <laughs> I feel like I file a warrant to claim on my planet, it keeps falling apart. Yeah! Yeah. Can't believe my fuel level is critical. Zoom! We're gonna go to Timber Hearth. It's gonna be a safe trip. to go 27 kilometers i have gone some meters no oh my god i got it down to 26 kilometers away good job me i nailed it we have we had just too much excess fuel we had to get rid of it it was necessary Okay. So maybe time to. Whoa, explodies. Whoa. Did that just explode? Huh. I think not, G. I think I think we skip today. Thank you though. Just like last night. Now where is our little planet? There's the place. Don't slam us into the pla planet, okay? Just don't do it, autopilot. She is a very good mother. Happy Mother's Day, G. Zelda break time, how is Outer Wilds? It's confusing and I keep dying, but it's very interesting. Don't slam into the surface. Yeah, but Okay. So this is the observatory. And we're meant to find a way in under the surface. Stop twisting, ship. And is this the place we were at? No, it's not. Or maybe it is. Yeah, maybe this is the place where we... Uh... This is the place where we walk, walk down the walls, right? Uh, yeah, we got more added things we should look at. Rumored entry? You should know my city just to the north of Rybeck's campsite. Yeah, the Hanging City, right? The Southern Observatory! Yeah, at the bottom of the crossroads, their excitement of being surrounded by so much Noma history is matched only by their terror, the Black Hole. Rybeck is Timber Hearth's only archaeologist. Yeah. There was something new. Right, but can't say it says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and that's what we need to find. That's what we need to find. And good luck to us. 
Oh, not what I meant to do. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Let's go over here. We did not go down here. Or maybe we did. No, we definitely didn't go down here. Is this... Ooh! Is this gonna help us get here from elsewhere? Thanks for the kablooey. No, no, no. It's a good confusing though, right? Yeah, it's like a, I'm really looking forward to figuring stuff out kind of thing. So far, I have not figured out much, though. <laughs> so I think I'll get I'll get annoyed if it takes too long to figure some stuff out. <laughs> Wait, the Southern Observatory is ooh. This isn't even south, though. This is south. Oh, it actually kind of heads south. But would I dare go there, though? This might be the place that I need to go, but let's look around here a little bit more first. It's a big thingy! Whoa! With thingies on, like stargates. It's a bunch of stargates! There's lots and lots to explore. How long, how's the, how long to beat for this game? is my question. The crossroads? Cool. Let's make sure we have like all of the teleporty thingies, the gravity wells activated. 30 to 40 hours? I can, I, yeah, at this point I'm like, okay, well at this point I feel like I'm gonna spend forever exploring in this game, you know? So if it was shorter than that, I'd be like, uh, how? <laughs> Um, hello? Yes, okay. Where is my gravity well? 21 main side completion is 26. Okay. But for us streamers, 30 to 40 is probably, <laughs> you know, how it's gonna go. La da 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 da. This was where it said the crossroads, right? Maybe it's Borked. West. That away. Chat, tell me if there's a sprint button, okay? Please. <laughs> and how long to beat is not that accurate. There is no sprint button, okay. I'm like, I'm wondering if I should jump across here. I probably should. Ah! <laughs> Sponk. The sprint button is called jetpack. Yeah. No, 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 no. Are we still going west? Yes. We're going to need to find trees eventually. Oxygen is halfway. I just want to make things more navigable for when I Im inevitably die, you know, chat. La 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 la. So if there are some... Aw, Zero is petting the boy. If there are some... Some things I can activate to make getting here easier. I just got a little kiss on the head.
Have a good walk. I hear our friend. Chat, we have succeeded! We have succeeded at finding a path to the place! Unidentified signal? We were just there. Oh, right, because my equipment doesn't know. Why does the ship log know then, though? Answer me this, game. Why does the ship log know stuff that my sensor doesn't know? No, oh, no. The way that fucking black hole is right there. Oxygen. Yes, please. Boom, 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 boom. Some people are very thorough explorers and some are not. Yeah, I'm a very thorough explorer usually. Somewhat. Somewhat. Like, there are times when I'm like, meh, fuck it. But there are other times I'm just like, diligent. Black Huggle. <laughs> oh, you launched. That's great. Good job, you. Yeah. Yeah. We've had this conversation. <laughs> I learned something. I didn't learn anything. <laughs> but just in case, you know. Maybe I learned something. I don't know. I don't know if I learned something. Who can keep track? Oh, don't. Avi, don't. Avi, Avi, don't. Avi, please. Please. Avi, please. Power of quantum nice knowledge. So my thinking, by the way, is that I keep putting these as like going away from where I am, because if I ever want to go toward it, then I want to make sure that they're all like ready to accept me. You know what I mean? But then again, I'm guessing that if it's on in any direction on one side, then it'll switch the other side. Yeah, probably. Okay, let's go back up here and go back to go back to where I was coming from. This was the hanging city, right? Um, and he's, he didn't seem to imply that it wasn't accessible to me. Cries in Tunic Endgame. One day I will go back and replay Tunic and I will do it more justice. Probably not on stream, but I'll have, I'll, I'll let you backseat me. Somewhat. La, 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 la. I keep getting distracted. Wait, this is the ice, uh, the ice tower that I saw in that image, in the little mural in that place with the, with the stuff. Remember? It's a shiny triangle! Oh, it's one of the torch thingies. Aha! School district, hey! That's the symbol of the thing I put in the thing on the place with the stuff. On the first island I went to. Um, the construction place. Meltwater district? So I guess these symbols are all like, they're related to places. It's interesting. Eyeshine district? Black hole forge district. So they're related to places in the, in the city then, okay. And that is the school district. Oh no, this is the, so we're in the Meltwater district now, maybe. And if we were to follow that hallway, we would get to the school district, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Da da da. This feels like it might be a bit intense. I think maybe we want to go back and not dive into the... this city right now. Well, we found trees. I'm worried I'm going to slide down here and not be able to get back up. Nah, it's fine. Na, 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 na. The Ash Twin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? 
No scrolls in these. If I remove it and put it in a different one, will that, like, do anything? Nope. I'm very bad at not exploring stuff. I'm just like, okay, let's not explore this right now as she continues to explore it. You're doing great. Discount Triforce, yeah. Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. Flock says this would require a return to the dark, to dark ramble. Plume, my father said, many good nomai perished there. Psycad, my mentor Coleus and his mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember that an anglerfish, that anglerfish fossil, we used to play in fossil fish cave when we were children. Um, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. The vessel? What's the vessel? I guess their spaceship? Wait, so this would require a turn to... So they perish because of the anglerfish. Uh, Colia says what Melore and I learned from that fossil could theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen, right? Raimi, the vessel's warp core is... Okay, so this is from the offshoot. We could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. The vessel's warp core is broken at best. Recall those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There's no guarantee... It, they're calling the warp core injured? It sustained lethal injuries, not not irreparable damage. <laughs> There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Kanoi says perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Their grandmother. So I guess the, like they crashed here and then like a generation or two later. This is when we're getting these notes. That's really interesting. Kassava, even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. Okay. Interesting. I like it. Let's see if there was anything else here, because I kind of left as soon as I found the scroll. <laughs> Oh, more writing. Poke says, I feel strange trying to recreate Anana's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. Poke says, hypothesis, this will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor and deeply. Poke says, to have a chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Poke, still all I can give is my best. And as Anana would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I can, I have Clary and Root in the forge and I have my clan. I am not alone. Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw Anana's warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? <laughs> All right. I love the way like the translations uh, acknowledge that some things would translate a bit strangely. It's great. I don't think I have purchase to jump here. Did I just get myself stuck? I'm fine, it's fine. I just forgot that I have a, a thingy, okay? My nice fix all the problems. Thingy. No, no, no. Oh God, I'm scared. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 
I'm sure all those bones are- oh yeah, yeah, all the bones are nothing to worry about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't even have a complete skeleton in our- of the Nomai in the um, museum back home in Timberhearth. And yet, I'm not able to, like, collect a sample. Oh, is that a path? Hello? Hello? A little, a little sneaky path. Ooh! I found the surface! And I actually have quite a lot of fuel left, too. I was worried that it was going to look bad, but no, it's fine. Na 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 na. And more riding! Felix, has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. Thatch, thatch, I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis, could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Plume, suppose this moon is too shy and sh to show us its face. Plume says, I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? Felix says this moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. Plume says the nights the moon circles this planet appear at appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend? That says imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Plume, then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Um, imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. Thatch says, I'd prefer we test the null hypothesis. Strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. I love that they have whole conversations like this. This is like, this is like message boards. But they use it everywhere in like a definitive, like their writing style has a built in way of creating like a flow chart out of out of their writing it is like a message boards right but like they can apply it anywhere because it's a standard <laughs> we love standards did i wait did i go to the other side i did right let's waste some more fuel to find out yeah right okay Ow. <laughs> I wasn't very committal with that uh, thrust. I was like, no, let's save fuel instead. His conversations on the walls of public bathroom stalls. Yes, in space. Ooh, more buildings. <laughs> Julia! <laughs> nice catch. Oh my god. You gotta be committed with the thrusts, kids. Oh, refuel, refuel! Hype. Feldspars, spare jetpack fuel, what? Oh, we found feldspar signs. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I checked with my little scout. I do too use it. Horn fells, you burned marshmallow. And the scout's integrity reading said this place, this piece of Brittle Hollow is as stable as any, but who knows. I love when the developers subtly call out the players for not using features like that. By being like, oh, uh, oh, of course I use my scout. <laughs> if fuel's still around, excuse me. If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. The Hanging City, 50 meters below. Well, that's broken. No, 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 no. And that's blocked off. Symbol! 
statue. Stuff. Clary, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. Ooh. Poke, I don't know how close it is to Inanna's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Casaba, I hope you're reading this. Poke, wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. Poke, I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Oh, wow, the cat cam is getting low. Nee, 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 nee. Don't tell Casava. Okay, you just uh, warped? Clary just warped? Felix says, this is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a bat black hole. It's been a long time since you've jumped through a black hole. Crazy thing to say. Um, de -dum, de -dum, de -dum, de -dum. Ba dum de dum de dum de dum de dum de dum de dum Lu da do da de da do Okay, so are these thingies gonna be nearby? Now I'm wondering if I should like bring those into my ship or some shit. Was I found elsewhere? Well, I'm not seeing anything around here. And I didn't see anything anywhere else. La -ba -da -ba -da. I would really like that one to switch directions. But there's no control mechanism here. La -da 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 -na 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 -na. Is there like a broken control mechanism? No. That doesn't hurt. It's not lava. It's fine. Aha! Oh no. Oh no! 60 seconds! Oh fuck! I forgot about the three minute warning! Oh no. Oh no. It's fine. Yes. Just breathe less. Yes. I'm trying to follow, like, retrace my steps, but. Just stop being so human. That was really silly of me. That's true. This is fine. This is fine. No! <laughs> Just breathe fuel, right? That was irresponsible of me. Fully my own fault. Oh, Zeno pinned the, pinned the Outer Wilds Discord thing. Awesome. This is really interesting so far. These four hours have gone by way too fucking quickly, dude. It's ridiculous. It's been almost four hours. That run really does explode. As soon as I restart. I love this time loop shit. Time loops are fucking great. 
fucking love time loop media. I don't know why, but it's always so fun. Except for Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is meh. Groundhog Day has not aged well. Na 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 Groundhog Day doesn't have spaceships. It's true. But there are other good time loop things that... that don't have spaceships and also manage to be good. <laughs> oh, the Adel Rock. Should we go there for a quick little visit? Ah, let's go there for a quick little visit. Can't be dangerous. It's just a... It's just a little... Oh. <laughs> Nailed it. It's just a little moon. It's just a little licking moon. Sure to be fine. What can go wrong? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pocket sized moon. Whoop. <laughs> Boink. Whoop. Boink. Esker signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up her Ibex banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listen to church play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell for Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybeck's doing okay. That oaf. I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Felspar's harmonica. But Felspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to Nice. Ooh! Is Felspar on Timber Hearth? <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. He's just sitting in a crater smoking weed. He's like, I don't know. I just don't want to deal with people. These are some interesting crystals or ice. The way I'm standing like sideways because I'm on a little hill. That's silly. Mood, right? Just like, man, let's just stay. Let's just stay in this place and smoke weed. Oh. That's interesting. That's interesting. No, 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 no. At first, I thought this was like a crater. Never mind. I found it. I thought there was a place to go down. And then I lost and I was like, I must have imagined that. But no, it was here. Coleus, I was up just testing the eye signal locator and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep and brittle hollow. The eye signal. Coleus, however, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. 
Felix, I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. Felix, an update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. Casava, it saddens me to post it, posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Ooh, the eye of the universe. There's alien ruins on the moon. Of course there are. Thatch, then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Casava. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points just one direction. Thatch says this is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. Indeed. Well, that's one of the symbols up above. La -da -ba -da -boo. Let's read the scroll. Thatch, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Coleus, Nana and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Uh, Plume, the southern grazier on Br Br Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Hey! That's the observatory! Hey! Felix, yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Kanoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born long after the crash. Plume, I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Ooh, it's the birth of the Southern Observatory. Exciting. Okay, wow. Wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is kind of no my this is some kind of no my locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there and see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Oh, our, our friend! It's our Brittle Hollow friend. So is that the one we aimed for now? Is that why that one is here? Let's see. Let's see if it changes somehow. I don't think it will. Because it just moves these, right? Oh, it locates stuff. So right now, we're pointing to... You know what? I'm just going to wait for it to be done. Do, 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 do. So if we look through here, it points to the the deep the place thingy, the, the water place, yeah. So those are what the so this is how we find out what the symbols mean. Which places the symbols mean? We can put it here. Do, 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 do. Is that just the sun? Or is it behind the behind the sun right now? Let's find out. It looks like it's moving behind the the sun for now. So what is on the other side? Is it Brittle Hollow then? Okay, so Brittle Hollow is oh my goodness it's a frazz hi there welcome in ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. appreciate the support frazz you're great everyone please follow frazz frazz is one of my favorite twitch people he's just he's just the best best of vibes and also very funny very good solid top tier Content creator who makes the best, makes the best content. It's true. 
What if I want to lurk one stream four times at once? I think Twitch data about putting two, being in the same stream multiple times. The only thing I've heard at one point, no idea how true it is, is that like if you lurk more than two or three times in one stream, then it doesn't count your view at all. Na, 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 na. And it only ever counts your view once, I think. Maybe twice, if you're two people. I am not going to Twitch Paris, no for us. I'm thinking I'm going to prioritize it next year. And I'm going to hope it is somewhere that I am interested in going. I'm not super interested in Paris. And I, since I went last year, I've ended up not prioritizing it this year. But yeah, I, I, you're like one of the few people that I know is considering going. How, how are you settling on that? Da 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 da. TwitchCon at Abby's house. I think Lana would fucking hate that. So right now we're on the moon of the planet that my character is from. That is the planet my character is from. And we found this. So so essentially, if you are choosing to continue to watch, even if you haven't played this, essentially the, the core of this game is that we are a species living on a little teeny weeny planet and we're in a solar system that has a lot of traces of a of an alien species that that ended up here um a long time ago and we've just recently learned to translate their their uh language so i'm around i'm going around and like exploring and finding their ruins and finding their technology and all kinds of shit and it's great And trying to figure stuff out. There's a lot of like mysterious stuff around to try to work out. And this particular place is a kind of locator thing that the that, that those that that species had. And I'm like I'm right now trying using it to try to learn what these symbols refer to, which planets these symbols refer to, because I've seen these around on a few devices before. And knowing which devices they were or which places they refer to can be useful, I think. So I'm just trying to trying to do thing. You really wanted to go for us, but you don't think you can justify it this time. Yeah. It's also like if not many people because for me, the one of the biggest reasons to go to TwitchCon is definitely just to hang out with content creators and community members that I really want to meet, you know? So if it's a TwitchCon where not a ton of people that I know are going, then it's a bit less important to go. Is this just the, the freaking sun? I think it might just be pointing at the sun. Yeah. Well, that's pretty intuitive. That does look like a sun. And what is this thingy? Is that the eye? Because we were reading in the writings that it's like the eye, uh, that it's the eye that they wanted to find when they built this thing, which is the eye at the center of the universe. And, but they weren't able to, like it just twists around like random, randomly when you try to aim it at the eye. So I guess that doesn't work. And this one is the water planet, and this one is the city, the alien city planet. Okay. As far as I know, Paris is already an expensive city before you factor in the convention. Yeah. For sure. And I probably want to go to Paris at some point in my life, but like, I don't know. I ha I don't feel like I need to prioritize it. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a super... Like, Amsterdam was fucking great to go to. I loved going to Amsterdam. In fact, we've talked in my community about organizing a trip to Amsterdam this year. As, like, a community meetup in Amsterdam. So, you know, if anyone that, that I know somewhat wants to hang out in Amsterdam later this year. Probably August or September. Uh, y yeah. Let me know. <laughs> Okay, now where's my ship? Ship. Ah, oh, it's on the other side of the planet. Great. Mm -hmm. 
Can I hang out in Amsterdam? Yes. Gee. Yes. You're invited. Weed and hookers! I mean, I'm there for the weed, mostly. <laughs> Wait, this is a little cottage! Oh! It's our friend! Our oxygen was actually getting pretty low. Hi, Esker! Oh, hey, it's you! Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? A lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro, and you know how Rybik feels about unnecessary space flights. Don't go! Uh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Oh no, he's so lonely! They should, like, have two people everywhere. Seems lonely up here, I said. A little. I'm in touch with the ground control, Hornfels and Gossen mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. <laughs> they forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone in our village. Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. Uh, what is this place? Ha ha, very funny. Oh, stars above your series, aren't you? That's just depressing. <laughs> Oh, welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. Oh no. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the village outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Don't go! I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Nope. Bye. I'm leaving now. Bye. <laughs> Get fucked. Please do, Fraz. Take, take good care of yourself. Really appreciate the raid. And anyone who's not following Fraz around here... Let's just say I highly recommend that you fix your shit. Okay? Okay. Great. Good talk. There it is. I was wondering if there was a refueling thingy majigger here. Alright. So, shall we go north? Oh, this is north. Okay. I guess we could uh, listen to some places. Apparently, there... So, there's a long-lost... There's a guy named Feldspar, who was one of the f the or original spacefaring people. Oh my god, nailed it. On my... of my species. And apparently... And he, he was missing. He was one of the four original, and he went missing when exploring. But then apparently, this is his harmonica we're hearing. So apparently, he's hiding out in uh, in our planet, just smoking weed by a campfire somewhere. And that's someone. Haven't been there. Those are the double double planet thingies. And there I tried to go, and this was a really chaotic and confusing planet, full of water and stuff. And there I've been. That guy I've visited. So let's go back to my planet and try to figure out where our friend is. Let's see, where's our heading? There. It's that plume of smoke. Chaotic and confusing must be full of humans. Mm. 
Yeah. That checks out. Zoom! Zoom! Where's the planet? There it is. We're going over there! It's in here! We could land somewhere that isn't in the middle of the crater. No, no, no. Why are you targeting that? Da, 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 da. Nailed it! Might be confusing and full of water, but it's not Earth, probably. Maybe. There's no guarantees. I mean, this is our own planet, but I guess I'll wear a suit just in case. Also because I need to go down in the crater, so I need my thrusters. Wait, am I going the right way? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's... that's not right. There we go. So we're this away. And I see the plume of smoke! I mean, you can't really play the harmonica when you're dead, so... I don't know. I feel like he's probably okay. Probably. Allegedly. Oh, dear God. What the balls? Okay, that looks... Scary. Has anyone tried yet? Has anyone tried giving a corpse a harmonica? Isn't there a movie about that? Yes! The Swiss Army Man. Ridiculous movie. Wait, are you just standing here? Is there a time dilation going on? No, Tektite. Hey, oh hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures that my little scat was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. So what crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. Looks like some kind of plant seed, but it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before, and trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? Kind of looks like something that might have come off the dark bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hashling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marlin Hal loose on it. Let's get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want any. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. These sounds are making me nervous. What? Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! That's only the second time I've experienced that! And it's all clicking! So I guess our planet is about to be fucking devoured by uh, some kind of sun going- or maybe the sun is going supernova! Or some shit! And we're getting destroyed! And... Basically there's a time limit! So I would have died anyway <gasps> and is that thing shooting away is that gonna go into the sun is that what it is is that thing exploding is that is that thing exploding the thing that is gonna <gasps> is that gonna go into the sun and like explode it 
Is that what's happening? Hi, Jay. Hello. Sorry. I'm so like, I'm so excited right now. No, it's shooting off into fucking no, who knows where. So it's not. So that's not what's happening. I was wondering if maybe something happened. That explosion that I see every time I time loop. Ugh. I thought it would like go into the sun or something, but maybe it leaves and then comes back. Maybe that thing is the thing that comes back and kills everything. Oh, regardless. Something is happening that causes everything to get destroyed. And I need to figure out how to make that not happen. That's our moon, right? Yeah. Okay. Something is happening, chat. I figured it out. <laughs> Let's get our butts over there. Jay, thank you so much for the nine month resub. Thank you. I hope you're doing well today. I'm just... I'm just uh, very intrigued by this game. It's very interesting. And I'm very excited to find out more. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. What is all this? Ugh. Perfect landing. I'm good, thank you. I'm glad you're well. Oh, look! See beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas. What? Okay. Detect hazards. Oh, okay. Test the environment. I should use that. <laughs> hey, I should use that sometimes. Wait, where am I? Was that the thing I saw? I think that's the thing I saw. No one can deny something's happening. It's true. Uh-huh. That's interesting. Oop. 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 Zero just startled me. One second. hello hi i'm back should use the scout yes i mean it seems useful doesn't it Ooh, nailed it this is a wonky ass set of stairs or whatever oh it's a cable Ah! Huh. Ah! The sound is coming from inside the house, chat! Thatch, is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the- Plume says no one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We are incredibly fortunate. Thatch, this is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? Felix, no. I'm I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. Felix, I'll continue calling for them. Thatch, my gratitude. If we can... Plume. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Thatch, everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Thatch, be car careful of falling ash and debris. Plume, I believe the moon has passed. Felix... This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. Thatch, we need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. Plume, I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we can build platforms. And they did! So 
Surface integrity. <laughs> I did it. I used the scout. So this is just the little, um, the little beacon. And this is the, the crashed vessel. Oh God. This is safe. Someone should do something about that lava moon. You know what I mean? Thanks for the hydrate. We'll do that. Part of this, this game kind of feels like Subnautica in a way, you know? With like investigating alien stuff and exploring and the, the zero G kind of experience like you get when you're underwater. What the fuck is that? Alert, collision imminent, preparing for impact. Launching escape pad three. Launching escape pod two. Launching escape pod one. <laughs> Gee, Zero made that exact joke earlier. Begin flight log escape pod one. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency service sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict hospitable. Emergency escape hatch. Oh! <laughs> I found a way to open it. Na 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 na. Okay. Is that it? It looks so large. It looks so big. People have said it's Subnautica. -esque. Yeah, and I freaking loved Subnautica. Subnautica was one of my favorite games that I ever streamed. Uh, OK, I think maybe I'm done with exploring this. Maybe. Ah, <laughs> gee. Na na na. Similar but also different. Oh yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> How would you feel about another standing redeem? My preference is no standing redeem. Oh, wow. That made stuff fall down. Floom floom. I just saw floom floom. Okay. I wonder how many minutes until the, like, how long it takes in between the... Oh, hello. In between the, um... The big supernova destruction -y thingy of death. Hello there. I spy thingy. Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that tip. That's a nifty tip. But... <laughs> oh! 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 oh god. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I hate it. I hate it. 
This feels a bit point of no returny. Plume of note. Be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat stable, it's safer than any we've found so far. A temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Noted. Do no 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 no. So no, my dying out doesn't really excuse them from not maintaining these platforms. Honestly, it's pretty embarrassing for them. Like this is a this is a hazard. I'm gonna sue them for my death when when I die because of it. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where we should construct a new where should we construct a new less temporary shelter? Thatch says we need to stay close to this gate pod so Felix can monitor monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. Felix, I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. Plume, I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. Thatch, this is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. Concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct new lesser te less temporary less temporary shelter? Plume, I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Thatch, building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. What if we use Felix? What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Look at them. I love the way I get to find out all the details of uh, stuff. It's really cool. Really cool. Is that where they went? But there's more bridges to explore. You're still in stream after all that time. Well, this is about... I, I tend to stream about four hours each time. It's my norm. So I'm going a bit over today. This looks like stable ground. Do do do. Thatch, this knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. Felix, the older the signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. Ooh. Plume, no, no, my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Thatch, imagine what rare and profound knowledge it must, might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Um, here is the, everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. Felix, the signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Interesting. Ship log updated, surface integrity 100%. Oh god, I should probably be worried about my ship. But then again, I should probably be more worried about time passing because I'm gonna die anyway. I should probably be the most worried about my uh, fuel running out. Na 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 na. Hey, Disc! We're definitely approaching the end of stream, yeah. But I'm not quitting yet. This game has me pretty hooked, to be honest. Okay, also, I'm lost. I don't know where I came from and where... Good! Yeah, I, I bet you're pleased. <gasps> oh no! I didn't know my oxygen was that low. Shit, I should be better at paying attention to that shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Run, run, run as fast as you can. I guess we're following these crystals. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just, just, just hope nothing bad happens. Breathe less. Breathe less. Breathe less. No breathe. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Rip.
rip in pieces. I think I should just die. Better to die. <laughs> You're just here to say hi. Hi, Disc. Yed! Thanks for, the for subscribing for three months. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really do. This is definitely the kind of game that I can see myself like streaming, doing long, long streams for. Oh, yeah. Dying has definitely been happening several times. Yes. Chat. This time we call it. Somebody kept count? I don't think so. Imagine putting this game down. It's not easy, Jimmy. It's not easy. But I've learned to take good care of myself when it comes to not streaming for too long at a time. Rest good. Yes. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you everyone for hanging out today. I've had a lovely time. I'm very excited to play more. I need to close Steam. Steam is backed in Wong. Good game ending. Thank you. I'm looking forward to playing more. I think I might play more tomorrow. Um, Monday. And then... And then on Thursday... I don't know. God. Hi, Chaos and Order. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for the two minutes of stream. You're welcome. <laughs> I will be here all day for your next stream. Aww. I appreciate you, Julia. It's lovely to have you. Yeah, we we I've been going just like about half an hour longer than my normal stream, but I'm going to play more tomorrow. Looking forward to it. it. It's been a really fun time. I'm very intrigued. I want to do all of the explorers. There's too much to explore. Too little time. <laughs> next week and next next time I play, I, I feel like I'm going to be a bit more like now that I know that there's like kind of the deal, I will be better at handling it a little bit. So it's going to be really interesting. <sighs> Excuse me. Because it's definitely it's the kind of game where you got to like figure stuff out. And like at first you don't know what the fuck is going on. It's just nonsense but I've been slowly starting to understand the deal a bit more and more. And and I feel like we'll have a better handle next stream. It's gonna be really interesting. Maybe we'll make some progress. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you've enjoyed it, Yumi. It was lovely to have you. Is that every game that you don't understand the fuck out of it? I don't know. Some games, uh, there's a lot of games where I start off and I feel like I know what's like the general gist of it. Doo, 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 doo. But there's some games where you start it and there's kind of like, there's an intention behind it that you just kind of go a bit like, what is going on? What do I have to do? Yeah, it's like, you don't know what the, what the mindset, the, you don't know what the philosophy of the game is. You don't know anything about like the situation you're in really. Like you just have to figure things out from the ground up. And that's very much this kind of game. Whereas there's some games where you're like, you know, like it's a Metroidvania and you go and explore and there's like a story and it tells you like, oh, you need to go and save this person and do this. And you just do it, right? It's hard to do for most games because I think they have like a, 
a common theme. This one, it's like, I hadn't heard it compared to Subnautica before, before I streamed it, but I've, I'm experiencing it a bit like a Subnautica thing, but more mysterious. Like in Subnautica, you land and you kind of like, you know that your goal is to try to figure out how to survive and how to get off the island or the, the planet. But this one is just like, go explore space. And then a bunch of weird shit happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. There's a butt spot. Yes, <laughs> there's a butt spot. <laughs> butt spot just butts messages. And if, if you're a person who does not want your messages to be butted, you can do exclamation mark ignore and i think it should work in my chat but it might also you might also need to go to butt spots channel and do the ignore command there i'm not entirely sure yeah just go fucking go explore do stuff figure it out <laughs> yeah figure out the history it's really cool i'm very intrigued like for every little detail i find out about some things that happened in the past it's very fascinating it's like an archaeologist's wet dream Okay, let's find a raid target. No, 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 no. Do, 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 do. Big yawn. Mm, my goodness. Buzzbot is my best friend now. I hope you're happy together. <laughs> Easiest ignore of my life. It's like, please don't fucking butt me. No butting zone. So we were gonna raid today. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for all the yawning. Didn't we recently raid Hecky? We did recently raid Hecky, but she's playing Jump King today, so I'm like, I'm tempted to raid her again. Because <laughs> we recently played Jump King. Also because like most people are playing Tears of the Kingdom and I'm like, can we maybe raid someone who's not playing a game that I haven't played yet that I definitely want to play? Yum King is lots of fun. Yes. I was loving playing it. There's also Control. If y'all have interest in Control, we could ra raid Didi. You you had so much fun baiting me. I had a lot of fun actually playing the game too, which is nonsense. Why do I enjoy the masochistic games? Let's raid Dee Dee. Dee Dee is playing the a DLC of Control today, which is a game that I have yet to play, but will probably play at some point. Oh, she is. She just fucked off. <laughs> She just fucked off screen. Na, 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 na. Yeah, follow my socials and my Twitch. Make sure to follow my Twitch if you if you came here for the first time today. Hey, Rakai. Hello. Good to see you. We're just we're just testing out a raid target right now. Hope you're having a good day. Da, 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 da. I don't know how long she's going to be on break, but maybe we find a different target. There really aren't that many options with the uh, Tears of the Kingdom hype, though. <laughs> and I'm very much like, I don't really feel like seeing any Tears of the Kingdom yet. Da -da -da -da. There's Fierce Kittens who's crafting. She's a crafting streamer. 
And I think either she's preparing for Twi uh, St. Jude event or she is participating in St. Jude. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think she's actually raising money for St. Jude today. I could rec have a recommendation I could send. I would really like to raid Dee Dee, I'm finding, um, if she's going to come back anytime soon. But maybe not. Do, 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 do. Your stream is a safe zone for several weeks. Are you planning to stream Tears of the Kingdom in a few weeks, Julia? Dee, 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 dee. We could just chill until Dee Dee comes back. I was considering it, Dee Dee. I don't know, uh, Julia, I mean, um, I feel like we, I set up, a, I don't know if you saw, but I set up a poll on my Discord being like, hey, <laughs> what should I do about Tears of the Kingdom? And I, most people in my community were very much like, eh, maybe you should just not stream it. I think a lot of people in my community have follow lists that are just packed with Zelda right now. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, fun disc. I was saying you should stream it if that's what you want, but I understand wanting to wait. I think if I'm gonna wait longer than like a month or two, then I'll just play it by myself, you know? And at this point, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe making it a game for myself to play, to just enjoy on my own. I think she's coming back. Yeah, she is. Yes, she is. She's coming back now. So let's do that. Soonish. Wow, new expression unlocked. It's a very good expression. Definitely recommend. All right, my friends, we're going to raid Dapper Dame, who is one of the leaders of one of my stream teams, uh, Octopus and Dragon. She's a lovely, cozy streamer who plays a variety games and she loves plants and she has. Yeah, I was about to say she has a cat, but I'm not sure anymore. I think maybe she lost her cat. But. Very lovely streamer. Give all the love in the world, please. To one of my fellow stream team members. Do, 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 do. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you tomorrow for more Outer Wilds. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Make sure to join my Discord if you want to hang out outside of streams. Follow my Twitter if you want to see random tweets and shit. And take very good care of yourselves, my friends. Okay, bye!